Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about evaluation of algebraic expression. Remember, when a variable is substituted for a variable in a polynomial, a polynomial takes a numerical value. Finding value is called evaluating the polynomial. So these are the steps in evaluating an algebraic expression. Number one, replacing the variable with a given number value or substitution. So, una muna natin gagawin dito ay i-replace or isa-substitute mo muna yung value ng given variable. Then after that, performing the indicated arithmetic following the order of operation. So first, Simplify the expression within the grouping symbols. So, kapag may given na may grouping symbol like parentheses, siya muna ang una mong isi-simplify. Next, you are going to simplify the powers and exponent. Then, simplify the product and quotients in order from left to right. So, dito kayo magiging aware. Apply MDAS. So, Multiplication and division muna. Tandaan, from left to right. Hindi ibig sabihin na si multiplication ang nauna sa MDAS ay always siyang mauuna. Hindi ganun ha? So, from left to right. Lastly, simplify the sum and difference in order from left to right. So, again, from left to right ha? So, hindi mahalaga kung sino ang uh, nauna sa salitang MDAS. It should be left to right pagdating sa pagsisimplify ng given na algebraic expression. So, to understand it further, let's have an example. Evaluate the given expression when x is equal to 3, y is equal to negative 2, and z is equal to 6. So, example number 1, x plus z. So, what you are going to do, first, substitute the value of x. So, what is the value of x? 3. And what is the value of z? 6. So, you are going to substitute first. So, it will become 3 plus 6. Now, simplify. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. So, therefore, x plus z is equal to 9. Next example, number 2, 2x plus Y. So, again, substitute first the value of X and Y. So, it will become like this. 2 quantity 3 or 2 times 3 plus negative 2. Tandaan, kapag ang number at saka letter ay magkadikit, ibig sabihin yan ay multiplication. Okay? So, isa substitute muna natin. Then, let's simplify. 2 times 3 is equal to 6, then bring down negative 2. Then, 6 plus negative 2 is equal to 4. Why 4? Because they are unlike sign. You are going to subtract. So, i-apply pa rin natin dito yung mga rules ng sign numbers natin. Okay? Next example number 3, xy minus z. Okay? So, again, I-replace muna natin or substitute muna natin yung value ng mga variable. So, x ay equal sa 3, yung y ay equal sa negative 2, and yung z ay equal sa 6. So, again, kapag ang letter ay magkadikit, ang ibig sabihin yan ay multiplication. So, it will become 3 times negative 2 minus 6. Then, let's simplify the multiplication first. 3 times negative 2 is equal to negative 6. Bring down negative 6 also. Now, negative 6 minus negative 6 is equal to negative 12. Apply the rules in subtraction of integers or yung KCC. So, you need to keep the negative 6 change minus to plus and change positive 6 to negative 6. Then, you are going to add because they are similar sign or same yung kanilang sign. That's why we have negative 12. 
Next example number 4, x squared. So, again, substitute the value of x. So, it is equal to 3. Then, remember that the exponent tells how many times a base is used as a factor. So, in this given, 3 is the base and the exponent is 2. Uh, so, it will become 3 times 3. Tandaan, kung ilan ang exponent, yun ang dami ng bilang ng base para i-multiply sa sarili niya. Now, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Again, you are going to multiply itself, ha? Not 3 times 2. It should be 3 times 3 sa sarili niya. So, that's why we have 9 as an answer. Now, let's have example number 5. 5x minus 2 quantity y plus z. So, first, substitute the value of each variable. So, it will become 5 times 3 minus 2 quantity negative 2 plus 6. Then, simplify first the operation inside the parentheses. So, sasagutan muna natin or isisimplify muna natin yung negative 2 plus 6. Bring down lang muna natin yung 5 times 3 ha, para hindi tayo malito at masunod natin yung steps sa pag-evaluate ng given expression. So, it will become 5 times 3 minus 2 times 4. Saan ang galing yung 4? Negative 2 plus 6. So, since they are unlike sign, you are going to subtract. So, that's why we have 4 here. Now, let's multiply 5 times 3. It will become 15. Then, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So, the final answer is 7 because 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. Now, it's your turn. Evaluate the given expression when x is equal to 5, x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to 3. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, Try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, addition of polynomials. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone!